This is our user interface, which mimics a conventional music player. The central plane is a so-called emotion plane, which defines emotion in terms of arousal and balance. For example, while happy is an emotion of high arousal and positive balance, sad is an emotion of low arousal and negative balance. We view the emotion plane as a continuous plane and regard each point as an emotion state. Therefore, each song can be re regarded as a point in the emotion plane according to its arousal and balance values. A user can easily retrieve music of a certain emotion simply by specifying a point. Let's try some points. We can retrieve happy songs by clicking here. Or retrieve angry songs by clicking here. Or retrieve sad songs by clicking here. And finally, retrieve relaxing songs by clicking here. In this way, a user can easily retrieve music of a certain emotion without knowing the titles, can find similar songs in the motion plane, or discover songs previously unknown to him. We call this music retrieval method query by emotion point. Such emotion-based retrieval is content-centric and functionally powerful, as our tastes in music are often emotionally driven. If a user discovers that the song No Regrets by Bon Jovi is very pleasing and wants to listen to the more songs of the same artist, he can click on the Artist button above the playlist and switch to Artist mode. In the Artist mode, the distributions of the songs of an artist are shown. A user can easily browse these songs, which is now organized according to emotion. For example, a user can now easily retrieve the sad song Sun by Bon Jovi or get to know what kind of music Bon Jovi often sings. He can also play back a song by right-clicking on the emotion plane. Likewise, if the user finds one of the songs to be very pleasing and wants some more similar songs, he can switch back to the emotion mode. Let us show more distributions of different artists. Note that these distributions are consistent with our common understanding of the styles of these artists. Besides specifying a point and listening to a specific emotion, the user may also like to generate a playlist whose emotions are changing over time. This can be easily realized by Mr. Emo. In the scratch mode, a user can draw any trajectory to represent a sequence of emotions in the emotion plane and retrieve songs whose emotions are located along their trajectory. For example, as we draw a trajectory from the first quadrant to the fourth quadrant, the emotions of the songs in the playlist also change accordingly. We call such a retrieval method query by emotion trajectory, or QBET. We show another more practical example of using Qubit. When a person is in a sad mood, he may want to listen to some sad songs first and then gradually change his emotion to be excited. He can u then use Qubit and draw a trajectory from the third quadrant to the second quadrant and generate such a playlist. Save me from drowning in the sea.
Thank you for listening.